Oh, here we go. Part two. <clears throat> now, I've taken the bolt out of there. <clears throat> Went to move this. Excuse me. <clears throat> and of course, it doesn't want to move. Well, well, there is a reason for that. We've got this clip back here. That you get in behind and oh, there we go. Pop that up and pull the pipe out. Only to discover <clears throat> you still can't move it because <clears throat> of this wire. So you give that. A, hopefully you're seeing this. Give that a squeeze. Now go on, go on, go, go, go. Oh, you fucker. Uh, let's try with a bit of pliers. <clears throat> I think I got it. <laughs> I think. Yeah, but there's something stopping me. That is stopping me. This pipe here is stopping me. I think. Nope. No, I haven't got it quite out. <coughs> no, the bottom's cool. Nothing worse than getting your bottom cool. Come here, let's try and... Hopefully you're seeing this. I can't do it twice. Well, I guess I could, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Is it gone? Oh, hang on. Let's try. <clears throat> God, I hate these plastic clips. Of course, if they'd have actually put a bolt here, or something better than this, <clears throat> might have been able to get it out easier. But we don't want that, do we? Now is it coming out? There we go. Got you, you bitch. Uh, now. <coughs> oh, dear. Now, can I move this out of the way? Well, that's in the way. <coughs> ah, right, there we go. Whew. Okay, that's got that out of the way. <coughs> Next will be to uh, get these uh, injectors. <coughs> me light gone. Right, to uh, undo the injectors. And for that, there's a little plastic squeeze on the other side. You squeeze them and give them a pull. And they don't all come off as easy as that, I can tell you. <laughs> oh god, and there's crap in the way. Next one. Ooh. And the next one. Of course, this is an eight cylinder, so there's four each side. Okay, sometimes uh, you have to lose a little persuasion. And of course, being crappy plastic, one of them's got to break, hasn't it? Uh. Come on, baby. There we go. All right, I'm not going to let you watch me doing the rest of those. <coughs> um, on this side, I still have this hose to deal with. It's rock hard, as I've said. I don't want to break this. So I'm going to take the clip off of here, see if I can pry the hose off. If I can't, because I've got a feeling it's not going to move, then I'm going to try undoing this nut. And maybe by undoing that nut, it'll come out. I just hope there's not a fucking nut on the other side, because <laughs> that would be really annoying. All right, and then the rest of the injectors on this side, and then I can start undoing the manifold bolts. Ho, 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 back in a sec. Okie smoky dokie. All right, <clears throat> all of the injector um, connections are disconnected now and pulled back out of the way. Uh, I've undone the various clips on this side. If we move over to this side, I've undone again all the injectors and the various clips, and I did unscrew this it was the only way without breaking something and i'm still hope that when i put it all back together um, it doesn't break anything uh, should you wish to know this here 
is a 23 millimeter. Um, it is all plastic, so be very careful when you will find that this oil filler is in the way most of the time. But with a little judicious spanner movements and time and patience, uh, you get it done. These clips here, they broke. <clears throat> I'm not worried once I've got the manifold out, I will take this piece completely off and I'll just use cable ties um, or wire ties as I believe you call them. Um, the only way I discovered to get to the connector at the back I, for the injector was using long nose pliers that had a bend on it. Uh, but yes, you could struggle and get through there some other way, but that's the way I got it. Now next is to undo the manifold bolts. Um, but a word of warning. <clears throat> you will drop them if you are not careful and they go down there which is in the V between the cylinder heads. <clears throat> if you're lucky, that's where they go, and then you can pull it out with a magnet or once the manifold is off. But do try not to drop them, because you don't know where they'll go. And uh, then once I've got this bloody manifold out of the way, then I will be able to get to the starter. However, I can tell you now that there are bolts at the back which are almost impossible to get to, and I'm going to lay odds I'm going to drop one of them, and I just hope it goes through to the floor. Uh, I think there are five each side. Let me just check. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five each side. So <clears throat> there's five each side. <laughs> okay, um, so that's ten bolts. And then you will end up with a plethora of uh, ten millimeter bolts. You can't see them at the moment because there's tools in there, but everything seems to be 10 millimeter, which in one respect is good because it's nice and easy. You just use the one wrench or socket or both actually. <sighs> right, let me now get to undoing the rest of these, or not the rest, but undoing these manifold bolts and then we'll get the manifold off. Back in a moment. Okay, your hard tag tip for the day. <clears throat> when removing these bolts, intake manifold bolts, I put them in a separate tray because I'm anal. And uh, as I undo them, what I do, like what I do and like what you don't have to do, because you know better than me, don't you? Um, is I'll undo them and then very carefully remove the, uh, the wrench and then use a magnet, in this case my flexible magnet tool here, to pick up the bolt. I do this so that if I was picking it up purely with the um, socket, it will probably fall off and it will go somewhere. And as you all know, there are these little gremlins when you're working on cars and they grab the bolts that you drop and they run away with them and they hide them in corners and in crevices just to fuck with you. But you do what you want to do. What I would suggest is that you undo them like I've done to the furthest point you can. In other words, they're not attached anymore. Then you get your magnet and you pull them out. Yes, it is a slower process. But at least you don't lose the bolt. Sorry, you were probably just staring at my hand then. Um, I have one back here and it looks like my... Yeah, my, my I'm going to get my special wrench on there and a, a shorter um, extension. That one's way too long. Oh, something else uh, I am doing at the moment to aid myself, and this is something you should plan ahead for. The bolts at the back are impossible to see. So you do it all by feel. You know, just like when you're in bed with your woman. Do it all by feel. And let me show you. <clears throat> I went to my local hardware store and I picked up a pack of magnets. Pack of magnet, pack of magnet. And uh, where is the pack? There, here is the pack. And it's a magnet source, 10 pack, and 
you get 10 diddy little magnets. Now, the only reason I got the diddy ones is I'm uh, using this on my <clears throat> quarter inch drive, but they're still a little bit too big, so I'm gonna have to grind them down, but that's no big deal. So what I'm doing, uh, uh, what I'm uh, doing is I'm uh, super gluing it on there. Once that is set overnight, I will then cut the edges off so that it fits the shaft. <clears throat> I will also be installing one of these diddy little magnets on the 3.8 side. I'm sorry, the the the, uh, the wrench I was looking at is a 3.8 and uh, a quarter. So these little magnets, I mean, it was like six bucks for 10 magnets. Worthwhile, even if you just put most of them in your drawers. That will surprise the wife when she puts her hand in there and she can't let go. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be nice? Hmm. Okay, um, I digressed again, as I always do. Let's uh, get on and get the rest of those bolts out and get that manifold off. All right, I've reached the end of my tether for today. There is one bolt at the back on this side, and as you can see, there is shit in the way. This has now convinced me I am not going to work on trucks anymore. I have had it. I will finish this particular problem for this guy, but he will be informed, he's probably gonna watch the video, that I will not, not do anything else on the engine compartments other than an oil change. That's it. The rest of it, go somewhere else. I'm sorry, I have had enough. I don't need this shit in my life. It's not gonna happen. There is a bolt back there that I am having extreme difficulty getting to. I will get to it, I will get it out. I will get the intake manifold off and I will sort everything out. But it just reminds me that I don't need this shit. So for you guys that uh, enjoy this struggle, good luck to you. Car designers, manufacturers deliberately fuck with us because they want to make extra money and all they do is make the poor bastards that work in the dealership suffer. Good night, Vienna. This should have been a two-part video. It's now going to be a three-part because I will show you me getting to the starter motor and replacing the intake manifold, etc. But for now, tonight, go forth, multiply, get out in the garage and do some shit.